Okay, this one was a really tough decision. Uh, this is probably one of the hardest ones. I'm, I'm trying to slim down my sneaker collection and only keep 50-ish pairs. I think I have like 44 pairs in my apartment right now. And this one, I was like, do I want to keep it? Do I not want to keep it? It's really expensive. And finally, I was like, screw it. We're freaking keeping them. The newest pair of shoes that I brought over to the apartment is the ComplexCon hashtag in brackets, I way overpaid for these Jordan 1s. Okay, so it is a beautiful weekend afternoon. It is sunny, it is awesome, it feels like summer. It's great, I'm not wearing a champion hoodie. I mean, the weather got so nice I needed to switch it up, go for my summer clothes. I'm wearing a zip-up hoodie now. How are all you guys doing today though? I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are feeling great, enjoying the beautiful weather. At least, I mean, I hope it's beautiful wherever you guys are. It could be raining and cloudy and terrible, but I'm feeling good because I realized something that is absolutely amazing that for some reason I just didn't think of until right now. Now, you guys have been asking, at least a lot of you guys have been asking for some more basketball footage, be like, Tom, you should vlog when you're playing basketball. And it's something I've tried to do in the past. I've just never really felt I could make a good enough video with vlogging while playing basketball and having to focus on the game and everything. But then I remembered something. On Wednesday, my friend Ben gets in from England and he's gonna be spending the entire summer here, gonna be hanging out, he's gonna be making YouTube videos as well and it's, it's gonna be a great time of like two different creative people collaborating and hopefully making some awesome videos. But he's sort of stuck with me. He doesn't have a key to my apartment, so if I leave my apartment, he needs to leave with me, otherwise he can't leave. He basically just needs to go everywhere that I go, which means he's gonna end up going to my basketball games with me. And he's not playing on the teams, so that means he's going to be able to film the basketball games, which is, a, I, I don't know how I didn't think of this until right now, but I was thinking about it this morning. I'm like, holy crap, this is going to be amazing. So I'm going to have a cameraman for the rest of my basketball games and for basically everything cool that I do for the entire summer, which is going to be amazing. There's going to be tons of crazy content coming. Needless to say, I am very excited. So right now we're actually swinging by the mall really quick, which is crazy to say because we haven't been to the mall in months on this channel like i'm talking months and months and months probably since winter probably before that probably since christmas i, I we haven't been to the mall in a long time but i want to swing by champs today i want to check some stuff out i honestly feel sort of weird about vlogging in the mall now because i haven't done it and so i used to do it all the time but i haven't vlogged in this mall in forever hopefully i pick up a pair of sneakers hopefully i see something cool to show you guys let's get into the mall <laughs> I did buy a pair of shoes, which is awesome. I didn't really film much in the mall. To be fair, there's really nothing that exciting in the mall. This pair of shoes is great. But before we get into these, I promised you guys I'd keep you updated with how my apartment is coming along. Time for an update. Okay, pardon the mess, because there's like some random boxes and stuff laying around because I was building stuff. The bedroom is looking good. That hasn't changed. This area hasn't changed. What has changed is we have a desk right here. There's gonna be like three more shelves that go up on these metal things right here, but we just built the desk for now. The store gave us the wrong brackets for the shelf. Really, really nice desk though. This is where I'm doing all of my editing. We got a chair to go with it, all of that good stuff. It's just big enough to fit my laptop, my mouse pad, my camera, do all my editing over there, which is perfect. And then we also got another desk over here which i think was in one of the past vlogs but i didn't show you guys what it looked like so this is what it is right now the tv is not going to be there permanently that is just the temporary home for the tv it's like two easels and a desktop it's it's really cool i'm going to do all my twitch streams here which i'm going to get started next week fingers crossed 
And then here's the camera shelf, which is looking oh so lovely. Tripod, glide cam, all my cameras, lenses, 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 drones, 100K plaque, my A7 III box, tape measure, old cell phone that doesn't work anymore. I don't know about you guys, except I think the apartment's looking pretty good so far. So I feel very lucky and also very surprised that I was able to get this pair of kicks. They released... I believe earlier this week, uh, maybe Thursday, Friday, or something like that, I guess technically last week, and they sold out pretty much everywhere. They sold out at Livestock, they sold out at the Foot Locker near me, they sold out at the Big Foot Locker, they sold out online, at least in Canada. I think they sold out at a, almost all the main stores in the States as well. I know they sold it at Nike Soho, because I asked a buddy over there, and they're sold, I, 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 they're, they're sold out in a lot of places, so I was honestly really surprised that these kicks were just sitting there, but they were just sitting there. They come in a regular Nike sportswear box. Now, the only problem here is that I wanted to get a size 12 because size 12 is what I wear in almost every single pair of sneakers, but they only had a size 11 or a size 13. The 11 was too tight and the 13 works. Like, it's not loose. It sort of actually fits pretty well, which is weird because it's a full size up. You think it fits a little big, but I guess this model fits tight. I only have one other pair of this model and I haven't worn them yet. So I wasn't really sure how they fit. But without further ado, this is the Air Max 97 in the gold bullet colorway. Now they have the silver bullet colorway, which is obviously the super, super classic one. And I don't know if this is actually called the gold bullet colorway, but that's what we're going to be calling it today. So these have released before in the past multiple times. They just keep restocking and for whatever reason they keep selling out. So to see them sitting at Champs was really nice. I heard they were there. I wanted to go through and pick them up. Now, what I love about the Air Max 97 is it really fits with the clothes that are in today with sort of the more retro Tommy Hilfiger patterned, boxy, bright colors and stuff like that. I, I honestly don't know what I'm saying right now. Just believe me that I have some sort of semblance of a logical thought pattern in my head. I'm just not voicing it very good. I like them is what I'm trying to say. The Air Max 97 is a really, really cool looking shoe. It's a full length air unit, so it's gonna be very comfortable. It's a sick shoe in terms of the paneling. That's what I really like about sneakers that came from the mid to late 90s is there's always awesome paneling on them. You look at the Kamikaze line, you look at the Shaq Gnosis, you look at these, you look at Hirachis, you look at the Jordans that were coming out in the late 90s and there's always cool paneling, cool stitching. The Jordan 10s is a perfect example of that with all of the different stitching and paneling around the lace holes. The Jordan 12 is really cool with the accent stitching, the mudguard. Shoes that came out in this time period Air More Up Tempos, perfect example as well, came out in 1996. Always look cool, they look fresh, and I really like how there's so many layers going on. Even if it's a monochromatic sneaker like this, it still makes it look busy, it still makes it pop, simply because of all the different layers and materials that you have on this shoe. So speaking of the materials, all of the stuff that looks like leather is really crappy. It's not leather, it's like some sort of weird plastic or nylon or vinyl or something like that. It is a crappy material, but it's all good. I mean, I'm not complaining. I knew what I was getting myself into when I purchased these. I saw them in hand before I bought them. And then you have a mesh in between these layers of that nylon. You have a red hit on the tongue and a red hit on the bottom of the shoe as well as on the swooshes. And that's pretty much the only color variant you're gonna have. The rest of the shoe is gold, black, and white. And I think it looks great like that. They didn't need to do anything fancy. They didn't need to go crazy with anything. They just kept it simple with gold, black, white, and little, little accents of red. Now these things look really nice on feet, at least in my opinion. These probably aren't the jeans that I'd wear them with. It's just what I happen to have on feet today or on leg today, I guess. Uh, I would go with maybe a little bit of a lighter wash of blue jean or maybe a black jean could look cool with these as well. And I go really simple up top of my outfit. If I was going with a blue jean, I'd probably wear a white t-shirt and these, and I'd keep that simple. And if I was going with black jeans, I'd probably wear a black top and just go black on black with bang, let these do the talking. Lots of people always ask like, how do you match colorful out there shoes? Keep it simple, you don't match them. Do not try and match this shoe. Do not wear a gold t-shirt with this shoe. That is gonna look weird. If you have a crazy colored shoe, keep it simple. White shirt, black shirt, black hoodie, black jacket, white jacket, black shirt, black jacket, white shirt, whatever you guys wanna do. Keep it simple, keep it plain. There's no need to go crazy. 
because this shoe is crazy enough and it's gonna do all the talking in your outfit. So I'm happy I was able to pick these up, got them for retail, $230 Canadian. I think they're $170 in the States. So you guys lucked out, you get them for a little bit cheaper over there in America. I wish this was America, but it is Canada and we have to pay way too much money for shoes. So I'll be wearing these in the spring, summer. I really like how they look. How do you guys think they look? Let me know down in the comment section below. I will catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.